the vast open sea. It may look endless and desolate, but its blue cloak conceals a vibrant three-dimensional world. Beneath the undulating ocean surface, a wide variety of structures rise from the seafloor to create biological hotspots. In certain places, they support some of the highest concentrations of marine life on the planet. What is it about these places that draws such an abundance of life? Banks are elevated features of the seafloor. They often disrupt and redirect ocean currents, stirring up nutrients from the depths and enriching local sunlit waters. This mixing powers food chains that support huge quantities of marine life. They create three-dimensional oases, rising up from a dark and more barren seascape. Off the coast of Point Reyes, California, one such formation, called Cordell Bank, rises from the Pacific seafloor to within 115 feet of the surface. This magnificent bank ecosystem supports a rich community of resident species and attracts migratory seabirds, marine mammals, fish, and other magnificent life from thousands of miles to feast on its bounty. Atop its rocky pinnacles, you'll find an astonishing diversity of fish and invertebrates, where every square inch is covered with life. It's part of an area of over 1,200 square miles that was designated a National Marine Sanctuary in 1989. Banks are also prominent features of two other National Marine Sanctuaries, one off the East Coast and a group of banks in the Northern Gulf of Mexico. Stellwagen Bank, an 842 square mile sanctuary 25 miles from Boston, is steeped in maritime history. Known as productive fishing and whaling grounds as early as the 1600s, today, busy traffic lanes for commercial ships in and out of Boston cross Stellwagen Bank. Nowadays, tourists have replaced whalers and come from around the globe to see the majestic whales of this world-class wildlife sanctuary. What they don't see is equally spectacular. The thriving ecosystem below, a plankton soup nourishing schools of sandlance and other forage fish that feed the great whales. And like other famous fishing banks, such as George's Bank and the Grand Banks, this place supplies some of our favorite seafoods, ground fish, lobsters, scallops and clams. In the northern Gulf of Mexico, a system of banks rims the outer continental shelf from Texas to Florida. 17 of these banks, located 80 to 125 miles off Texas and Louisiana, make up Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. The banks of this 160 square mile sanctuary support thriving reef communities, from coral reefs on the shallowest banks, to huge expanses of black coral, sea fans, and sponges at greater depths. Among the wonders of these underwater treasures are mass coral spawning events timed with the moon phase, manta ray nurseries, and the world's largest fish, the whale shark. Though created by very different forces, Cordell by tectonic uplift, the flower gardens by upward movement of ancient salt deposits, and Stellwagen by the deposition of glacial sand and gravel. These unique banks have all been recognized as special marine places and set aside as national marine sanctuaries. But banks are not unique to just these three sites. They're also found in other sanctuaries and along the coasts of countries around the world, where they too are valued for their role in the ocean ecosystem and the benefits they provide people. Your National Marine Sanctuaries are living laboratories for scientists studying the marine world. They give educators captivating content to inspire students of all ages to become ocean stewards. They provide incomparable opportunities for recreation both above and below the water. They support thriving ecosystems that are the heart of our blue planet's health and engines of economic and social well-being in coastal communities. These places inspire us to protect our magnificent underwater treasures for future generations. Protecting offshore banks is an investment in our ocean 
our economy, and our nation's future.